Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've put together a how to safely soak off your acrylic tips. I'm going to be using two methods to show you that either one works very much the same. So I will be showing you in a soak off dish as well as the at home method of two size glass bowls with a few marbles in the bottom for stability and height. I've also used an old nail file. You will need some acetone. I've purchased this from Planet Nails, but I'm sure you can also purchase this from Clicks or Diskim. I've also used a cuticle pusher or cutter, which I used to scrape off the excess acrylic. If you don't have a tip cutter, you can use a nice strong nail clipper. So these are the tips that I will be removing. Ordinarily, I wouldn't remove this set. I would actually file them down and do a fill but because so many of my clients are in the lockdown and I can't get to them at the moment I've broken the nail so I said why not show you guys how to remove this at home safely so the first step is to actually take off the length of the tips that are on your nails so firstly, if you don't have the tip cutter, as mentioned, you can use a nail clipper and just clip off the, the, the extended length of the tips. Try not to cut them too short. Look underneath to see where your regrowth is and then try to cut them before your natural nails. So once your tips have been cut short, you are then going to break the seal. You do this by filing the shiny coat, your top coat of your nails off. So as soon as you shine them and basically dial the top coat, you will be ready to start soaking off. And that's it. As you can see, all my nails are now dull because I've uh, filed off the top coat and you're ready to start soaking off. So what I've done is I've taken some marbles and I've put them in the bigger glass bowl and then I've placed the smaller glass bowl in it. This is to give it height and so that the hot water can actually get underneath the bowl and help warm the acetone when you are soaking it. Okay, once your water is in the bowl, you add in your acetone and you place your hands inside. You try to leave your hands in for about 20 minutes and you'll see that the acrylic and the gel actually turns into jelly. I use the scraper to sometimes help scrape the excess acrylic and gel off the nail and this method is basically lifting the product off your nail without pulling layers and layers of your na actual natural nail off as well. So as you can see, all the gel and acrylic is off. I'm basically rinsed my hands and giving it a cleanse wash at the moment. And my natural nails are perfectly healthy underneath. I've buffed them down because I'm now prepar preparing to put on a new set of nails. I hope this helps you at home on how to remove your gel or acrylic nails without damaging your nails. And I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Good luck. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and always remember to love your manicure. Bye.